Gretchen. Hi. However long 300 collated copies of Miller v. Georgia takes, that's how long I'll be. That's not what I was going to ask. I wanted to know if Lewis is seeing someone. Say what now? If he isn't seeing someone, then I don't want to make him feel badly by including a plus one. But if he is seeing someone, then I don't want to be rude by not including a plus one. Oh, he's seeing someone, all right. What does that mean? What now? I forgot your original question. No, no, no. You just said he's seeing someone in a way that clearly means you know something. I'm sorry. I can't hear you over this rickety cop here. <clears throat> so that's how this is going to be, huh? What are you not telling me? Lewis is sleeping with Sheila Saz behind her fiance's back. I told him he was crazy. God only knows what goes on in that man's soul. Now, can you plug that thing back in, please? I got copying to do. Lewis, do you have a minute? For you, Rachel, always. What's on your mind? Well, I was just on my way out, and I don't really know how to say this, but... Rachel, what's going on? Okay, look. I don't know if you're seeing anyone right now or not, but I just wanted you to know that no matter who it is, if they make you happy, then they are more than welcome to come to our wedding. Gretchen told you, didn't she? Yes, you may have told me. But, Louis, you were the one that told me that Sheila came to you in the first place, and I told you then that no matter what you decided, it wasn't going to change the way that I feel about you, and I just want you to know that it hasn't. Um, Rachel, I appreciate that. But Sheila and I can't be seen in public. And to tell you the truth, I wouldn't change that. You wouldn't? No. In fact, for the first time in my life, I have confidence. I feel like a king. Well, Lewis, it is my pleasure to inform you that I officially rescind your plus one. Thank you, Rachel. I appreciate your understanding. <laughs>